Hey everybody, welcome back. I'll tell you what, we are heading up to the Pestigo River today and we're gonna fish giant walleyes and we're gonna show you guys the proper rods to use and the proper baits. And most importantly, we're gonna show you where these fish are gonna stage. Now the water in the last two or three days came up about four feet. So it is absolutely raging, but it's a good thing because when you get that much current going down into the bay, it sucks a ton of fish up into that river. But there can be a, a lot of spots that are difficult to fish and it's gonna be a lot smaller areas because of the amount of water and how high it is and you're gonna be dealing with a ton of current. So, hey, hang on to your heinies. We're gonna show you how it's done. It looks like a decent fish, huh, see? You have decent, yeah. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, good way to start the morning off, right? Yeah. Sort of different presentations. Like, I'm a steelhead fisherman, so I always like a little bit longer rod. So okay. I'm, I'm using a 7-2 medium light. And for this, I think it's perfect because you are pitching a long ways. Yeah. In a lot of these pockets. And a little bit smaller jigs. This one is good for eighth to you know half ounce, and I think we're throwing about three eighth ounce three -eighth, jigs. Yep. And it's working good. I can feel bottom. Look at that. This feels like a good fish, but yeah, it still has enough going. backbone to control these bigger fish in current like you are, because this river is moving pretty good. It is. I'm not netting this one. <laughs> so I was just kind of just letting it go a little farther than normal. But you had your bail open and you were feeding it line because, you know, when your line gets to a certain point, you guys, is that there's not enough line to hit the bottom with the amount of current. So keeping your bail open, and when it goes back down, you gotta just open your, pull your finger off the line and let it go down. That extra six to 10 inches makes a big difference. It is a very special place to fish. Um, it's great because you can only keep one fish and we don't even come here to keep any fish. We just come here to catch a lot of fish and let them go. But you definitely have the chance of an absolutely giant in here. And the other part is the way these fish fight in that current is absolutely awesome. And when you're using the slow poke jigs and plastics, just the way that they throttle that rod when they hit. Looks like a good fish. Nice job. In the hoop. Woo. In the hoop. That one just, wow. That looks that more is, like a Lake Erie fish. It does, a lot lighter fish. So you know that fish has probably been in shell, a lot of shallow water right there. You can tell it's not as gold. And these fish are just migrating into the river. I mean, like I said, the stronger the current is, the more fish that come into these rivers. And the cool part about the Pestigo, everybody, is that it, out of the three rivers that run down into the bay in this area, is that the Pestigo is the narrowest river. So it doesn't take as much water to create a stronger flow here, where the Okano is, is wider. And of course, the Menominee is twice as wide as all of them. And again, it takes more volume of water to be able to create that pressure to get out into the lake to draw these fish up here. So a year when you don't have a lot of runoff, and that's not the case this year at all, we've got a ton of rain, there's still 40 inches of snow sitting up in the UP, so we're gonna have lots of high water all the way through the whole spawning season here. Ready? Um, yes, it four, is four, 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 four. Look at that fish. Hey, I'll tell you what, everybody, this is definitely going to be the spot, the tiebreaker right now. It's 444. Four, four. And uh, let's see if we can pull a couple of fish. Again, got a great current break right here. Um, three eighths ounce jigs, and basically just pitching to the side of the current and letting that bait just tick the bottom as it floats down. So let's see if we can get it done here. Gotta keep your hands clean nowadays. So I love about these toe-tails. They really are nice. So right now I am using a seven foot two medium light, rated one eighth to a half ounce. It's perfect for what we're doing here. We're kind of using smaller jigs here. Uh, if you're fishing like the bay or something with lighter hair jigs, I make a seven six medium light that's good for that. And 
super light rods. I mean, you could design the handle length. Some guys like a shorter rear grip. Some guys like them longer. I can make them in wind grip, cork, carbon fiber, anything you want. And you could check me out at magscustomrods.com. And I make anything from walleye rods, panfish rods, steelhead rods. Any, anything that'll catch a fish, I can make it. That makes me feel a little better. Oh, you suck. Frickin' steelhead. That counts for Damn 10. Dude, son of a low good. Here on you the see how the good game. that thing fought? Yeah. Yep. You That's are a steelhead master. Fish. You know the main thing is, too, when you're pitching plastics in the current here on these seams is to stay with the bait. So you're definitely walking that bait down and having a high-vis line definitely helps. But having a longer rod so you can get the lift. And what I'm doing, sometimes I'll give it a pop when I, I'll pop it up but I'm always setting that jig back down on the bottom and I'll slow down the fall ratio on it. That's the biggest thing and a lot of times that's gonna really determine, you know, how the fish are gonna hit that bait too. So definitely the, the fall ratio is probably the most important um, when it comes to cast and plastics. Sometimes they want it fast, sometimes slow, sometimes medium. So that's the biggest thing that you gotta figure out. And the other key thing is too, is when you get to a spot, and you catch three, four, five, six, whatever amount of fish out of a spot in a half hour, 45 minutes, and everything slows down, which typically happens, start changing colors because a lot of times just by changing colors, you'll pick up another two, three, four fish out of a spot like that. So again, that's a key thing. Don't move on to the next spot until you try a couple other colors in that same hole because you know the fish are there, you've caught them, and again, now it's just giving them something different. Hey everybody, what an unbelievable day. You know what it's all about? I hope everybody learned a lot from this video, but really the thing that I really wanted you to come across, and I hope you guys really felt what we feel, is that how much fun we had today with everybody in the boat. You know, it's just a great way to get out, relieve the stress, catch a bunch of fish, talk a lot of smack, and remember the most important thing, it's always a great day to be alive.